Hey, what? let's step and hit me out. Today we're gonna talk about Arena Breakout Infinite in its current state three days after release. Usually this is something that doesn't have to be talked about until later on in the game's life, but because of the anger amongst the community, I wanted to make a video about it. I recently made this TikTok that did pretty well. It's me defending the pay to win features in Arena Breakout Infinite. When you load up Arena Breakout and you go to the store screen, I saw these daily Cohen that you could buy with real money it came out to about 300k i wasn't too pressed about that that might buy you a gun a helmet an armor whatever it may be so with that information i made my video later on it was brought to my attention and my own discovery that there was another page where you can pretty much get unlimited cohen on this page you can see that you can have daily and weekly amounts of cohen which comes out to a little over 30 million a week this is bad and this is where my line is drawn if arena breakout wanted to monetize partially off of real in-game currency i said 300,000 cohen not terrible again that's maybe one high-end item in this game that doesn't guarantee you a win that is not pay to win that is very much like base level okay whatever you want to get a scope instead of rocking a hollow because of sites being over 100k for anything with a magnification go ahead spend the current 99 us cents and buy yourself a nice scope you deserve it but on the opposite side you do have tens of millions of cohen that you can buy and just completely just run through kits that's like going to armory getting tier six out with a meta weapon losing it not caring and going back in that is bad when escape from tarkov released their 250 dollars unheard edition and completely negated any benefits to edge of darkness owners the community made a stand and tarkov apologized try to go back on some things try to fix things but at the end of the day because of the community outrage they had to change how they were going about it now breaking promises is much different than a bad monetization plan but at the end of the day when you are buying things at a large scale level that you're supposed to be grinding for in a game that is like the sole purpose of the game right extraction shooter is get loot buy loot and play with the loot that is the most basic foundation of a looter shooter extraction game. When you have a shortcut, an enormous shortcut of just being able to buy those things, bypass those things, not have to worry about looting. Because if you have almost an infinite number of in-game currency with your credit card, why loot? Why sell items? If you can load in, go find PVP, take other people's kits because you're running the best gear, the best gun with the best ammo, you have to be really bad to be unsuccessful with multi-millions of Cohen. Now, what I will say is buying this gear does not equals success. Time and time again in my comments, it's, it's pay to win. And I, I definitely am like less attracted to the pay to win phrasing because in a game like this, you can still have the best gear and run across somebody who has a Mosin that shoots you in the face 100 meters away or an mp5 with leg meta dumb dumb ammo and your gear that you literally just paid for with real money is now in somebody else's hands so the pay to win like argument doesn't really resonate with me does it suck yes is it dumb that you can pretty much again buy unlimited kits run them and hopefully have success like your your success rate does go higher but majority of the time the better player will win i think what kind of resonates more with me is it devalues the process the game loop and everything in the game itself why run raid after raid after raid after raid trying to find valuables trying to win those fights trying to come out of raids successful trying to rank up trying to really grind the game if all of that can be taken away just by pulling out your credit card that is my fundamental issue and people are saying if we allow arena breakout to have this monetization plan we're allowing other games to feel like it's okay to buy things in game. I think first and foremost, they already do this in the mobile version. And while yes, I'm not saying that mobile and PC are nearly the same thing, I'm not, trust me, I get it. They are very, very, very different. But this was already something in HQ already being done. So, so when we heard that this type of mon monetization of buying Cohen 
could be in the PC platform, it was no surprise to me. Nevertheless, I digress. The purpose of making this video was trying to just put a line. Arena breakout monetization plan needs to change. From what I thought was only in the game being the daily 300K, I don't love any form of it, but that was kind of like my line. Again, if you're playing four or five times a week, you're playing a couple hours a day, that doesn't do enough to take away from the actual loop, the grind, of the game is it dumb yes it's dumb but finding that other page of unlimited funds hurts this game deeply and i'm not paid by tencent i'm not paid by arena breakout i love this game i fell in love with this game in beta today we have way too many gamer activists of what's right or wrong morally in the gaming world in the gaming space just enjoy the games that just play and enjoy the games that you want to play and enjoy. That doesn't mean that we can't have our opinions in the space because in an industry that is inherently only online, there is a lot of power behind gaming communities and player bases, which you don't get to see and have everywhere else. But that being said, again, there's the line allow people to play what they want and have fun doing it again i fell in love with this game in the beta i love tarkov but there's a lot of things that i don't love about tarkov and this game removes all the things that i don't like and keeps the core foundation of what i do like about it so i'm getting called a shill a sellout getting paid by the chinese yada 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 i love this game i hope the monetization plan changes arena breakout will be a gamescom with landmark hutch and probably a few other streamers talking about hopefully hard topics i'll leave you with this clip that nate shot recently posted if you haven't seen it about how people want games to fail and it's a really weird like cultist mentality like all of the gaming player bases are all splintered into different games genres whatever it may be and if something is similar or too different to what you enjoy then you want to see that game fail and even if there's a game that comes out that's wildly successful, it's like, it's not that good. It's a very weird mentality and Nate Shop puts it together perfectly. So if you like this video, like it. Thank you so much for watching. I will be live streaming on Arena Breakout. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. There's something weird that has happened in the gaming community. Everybody in the gaming community, they want games to fail. Like the whole thing with X Defiant is still like stumps me to this day. People complain about not having enough games to play, but when new games come out, even, even before they have played it, they're like, that game sucks, I'm not going to play it. Listen, man, if we keep tearing down these studios trying to make good games, like, yeah, not every single one is gonna be fun and not every single one is gonna be a hit. But if we're sitting here like praying on its downfall before the game even comes out, what do you think is going to happen? Nobody's going to be investing in gaming and making new games. Now we have too many options. We've seen too many different games. In 2007, when Halo 3, Gears of War 1, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare dropped the same fucking year, bro, the, we were lined up outside of GameStop, camped out, drinking fucking Mountain Dew, waiting for these new games for the midnight release. Everybody was so excited about it. Now when new games come out, like doing a satanic ritual for the game to fail miserably, I don't really get it.